It's, it was an amazing experience to be in a room with 6,000 teenagers, especially worshiping Jesus. Walking into the main session and just seeing all of the people and the lights. They are unafraid in the way that they worship. Just hearing everyone uh, singing together. They're vocal, they're physical about it. Um, it kind of sounds like when you like go to the orchestra and just hear this really beautiful music um, just playing. They're truly, um, they're all in. I had one moment during a worship session where it was really, it was definitely a Christ moment where I felt like he was kind of just surrendering to me and I kind of like went halfway and he was like, no, am I, am I only worth halfway? And okay, well getting to life was an adventure. Um, someone who will remain unnamed, potentially mixed up the schedule. We didn't know if we would have to end up driving. Yeah, the kids dealt with it super amazing. They really blew me away. I've had a lot of long layovers before and it was just kind of like that. Especially experiences like sitting in an airport for 12 hours brings people that would never have talked to each other really close together. Yeah, I definitely think that there was, um, there was a lot of people that I didn't know that um, went on the trip and so it was really good to get to know a lot of new people. So there were a lot of friendships made um, that probably wouldn't have been made if they didn't go on this trip and there was definitely a lot of um, bonding especially you know if you'd sit together with someone in a session and then you talk about hey this is what I learned and how it applies to my life. They would be like we'd like you to uh, take note of which one of these is your spiritual gift so she gave us a list of them and then like sitting next to each other we would be like oh do you think this one's me oh I think that one's you and just mm -hmm. yeah um I went to the women only session with um, Kayla and I really enjoyed um, just before the session getting to sit there and talk about I don't know just what's going on in our lives and they brought up how everyone who is a son or daughter of Christ is brothers and sisters and I think that that just really needed to be heard by our youth group. On the last night the kids all got together um, and were sort of debriefing about the day and sort of the week really and coming to the realization all of them as a group wanting Summit to change, wanting their youth group to change in this light where they wanted to be unified, they wanted to be treating each other like brothers and sisters, and they wanted to go out and bring new people in. <laughs> um, the speaker was Steve Argue, and he talked about how to share your faith. Um, overall, as a group, I saw this really overwhelming um, sense of unity um, brought out in all the kids, and they left Life Conference wanting to come back and just grow with each other in Christ and just come together and actually treat each other like brothers and sisters in Christ, which is something that they found was lacking in our youth group. So it was really eye-opening for me because it's it was it showed how good God is and how persistent he was and and like he just he pursues the world. Shine, but.